Welcome to Pool Pro Office training video series. Today we're going to show you how to create and send a communication from Pool Pro Office. Let's get started. We'll find the project we need to send a communication out to. Uh, we'll go to the Bloodworth project and we'll go to the communication tab. In the communication tab we have a record of all pa previous communications. I can create a new communication and that will bring up a new com communication. I can assign the email address to and that could be to the customer or I might be sending this to a subcontractor or a vendor. You get to choose. Then you choose from and you put in your subject. And then I could also put the message. Uh, you could also copy and paste in here if you need to. I could also send a back copy to somebody, a carbon copy in the office, or a blind carbon copy. At the same time, I have the ability to attach an, an attachment to this. In this, I could go searching on my computer for an attachment and insert it. And it will add that attachment. And I can view that attachment. I could also add a construction drawing to this. So if I was sending this out to a subcontractor or even to the homeowner to give them a copy of the construction drawing, I could add the construction plan. Once you add the construction plan, you need to make sure you click Add Attachment, and it will add that. At that point, you could add a second drawing. And you click to add that second drawing, and it listed it here. It's important to make sure you click which one you want to add, and make sure you add that to list it here. After that's all in there, you're ready to send it. It takes push send, and it'll process this uh, email communication going out. It will look as if it came from you, the sender, and it will send it to the client and send you a confirmation whether the email was sent or not. This particular one has a construction plan, which is a pretty large file, so it's taken a while to load that. Once it is also sent, it will log this into your communication log. So you'll always have a record of all the communications uh, with the client or with subcontractors or even in-house employees. You can also create a communication as a note if you just want to create a note in on this project and copy somebody you could do that. So there's many useful ways of using communications. This was that test email we just sent and here's a log so the most current one's always on the top and it will show the attachments and I could open that. And it will show me who it was sent to and who was carbon carpet. Uh, the construction plans that were attached were also included on there also. So that's how you create a communication. We can also create a log of all these communications. Let's say you wanted to print out a log of these communications you could. Uh, so the communication tab is extremely important. It enables users to communicate internally, externally to the client or to subcontractors and log all those communications in. One of the largest complaints I always had as a pool builder was lack of communication. While we've made it possible to communicate throughout the organization or with a client at any given step as easy as possible and log those communications in. So thank you for watching communications and stay tuned for the next training video. Thank you.